get on the internet and go and install Hiren's Boot CD 10.0. So if you click on start, go up to the Internet Explorer, right click, browse the internet. In the address bar at the top, type www.hirens boot cd dot net click on go scroll down to select the version there are lots of different versions but we want the, to, to download the 10.0 so we will click on download and save and we want to save in the desktop the file name and leave it as it is and just click save we can now close down this window while that's happening and this will take a while so I'll get back in a second when the file is downloaded and we're now coming to the end of the download uh, we'll close this and as we, this is the file that we've just downloaded so we right click on that and open it up we can see all the files in here what we need to do is go to here where it says extract all and this wizard will appear so click next just leave everything as it is click next and this will extract the files if you haven't got one of these extraction wizards you'll have to use something called uh, WinZip which is free from the internet or at least you can get a trial we'll leave this tick in the show extracted files and click finish and what we need to do now is insert a blank CD or DVD into the DVD writer I'm doing that now push the draw back in and the file that we are interested in is this ISO file here we'll want to, we want to burn this file to our DVD or CD so what we do to do that is go up to the burn CDCC icon and right click and open it and click on run and click on the auto eject to get shut of that and we need to browse we'll browse for this file here so we we'll browse and we're already in Hiram's boot CD folder and we can see that it's here so we highlight that by clicking left clicking on our mouse button and the file name is here the ISO file is there and we just click on open and then we click on start and the CD goes in and out on its own for some reason I don't know why that's come up but just click on OK and our DVD writer is now writing the ISO file to our disk so we wait for that to happen and it looks like our disk is finished so we just eject it and take we need to take this now ready for our to our other computer that isn't working so we close everything down and then switch this computer down and go to our, the, our other computer that isn't working with the CD. So we turn that off So I'm now at our 
broken computer and what we need to do now is start the computer up and start the computer up and at the same time when the black screen appears look at the bottom of the screen press delete to enter the setup tap up and down on the delete key then the BIOS window will appear before we do anything else in, open the CD case drive and insert the CD-ROM and once that's done we'll leave that as it is and we need to use the up and down arrow keys as you can see to highlight any of these options now we are interested in the advanced BIOS features and then we press enter and then we need to use the up and down arrow keys again to find the first boot device and we need to change this to the CD-ROM and we do this by pressing down on the plus or the minus keys so if we find the CD-ROM and now we find the CD-ROM we use the up and down arrows to go to the second boot device and we'll make that the hard hard drive. Now we've set up. Now what we need to do now is save this information. So if we press F10, save to seamless and exit. Well, we want we say yes. So we just press enter, and the computer will now reboot with the disk that we created inside and start from that disk. Now we've got a menu that's appeared from the Hirons Boot CD and we use the up and down arrow keys to choose which one we want. We are interested in the Start Mini Windows XP. Once we've highlighted that we press Enter. And this loads the Mini Windows XP so we can get on the internet and download some software and there we have it so next we click on network and right click on network and open this detects all our network settings and we can get on the internet next what we need to do is right click on the boot windows icon click on open and click on browse I need to look at this yellow folder here and right click and open that. We need to move over to where it says Windows Tools and double click on that. And then we need to go down to where the, it says Opera. I need to double click on that. Now We've got a win an internet a browser environment, so what we do now is go to this address bar here, highlight it, and type in...